wheat field near Davenport, and it looks really soft. It looks uh, like you'd want to run through it, but it's actually pretty prickly. And these are the little wheat germs. Tastes like uh, breaded wheat, like from good food or uh, whole wheat bread. thing I've eaten in this whole film because these little prickly things get caught in your throat you want to wait till it's processed and they turn it into bread and, and flour it just made me I just threw up it made me, I actually threw up because I got these little prickly things down there got tangled up in my punching bag in the back of my throat and it made me barf I feel like I have to throw up again so anyway that was a mistake uh, but I don't know what they do there's the wheat germ in here and they grind it all up but I do know that they take the prickly things out in the process or we'd all be throwing up all the time. This is a piece of basalt here. And what happened is, a long time ago, uh, basalt oozed out through the earth's crust in little openings called fissures and it, uh, it spread out across this whole uh, part of the area here in eastern Washington and in some places it's thousands of feet thick uh, and in others not quite as much uh, but it happened over and over and over and this stuff just kind of oozed out and then it would cool and then years later it would ooze out again and then it would cool and uh, basalt is all over the place here in some places you'll see columnar basalt which big, they're big huge columns of it uh, they look like pillars in fact uh, <clears throat> there's a little value in that now people are uh, selling that stuff in their, uh, you know, they're using it for like businesses or using it for their signs. It's ornamental or people put it in their yards. I think I'm going to get a piece and put my mailbox on it. Uh, anyway, this is a chunk of basalt. Just thought I'd let you see it. I'm not going to eat it like I did that, like I did that uh, piece of wheat. Made me throw up. Any questions? We're heading west on Highway 2 between Davenport and Wilbur. And this area is known as the Channeled Scablands. And what happened is thousands of years ago, during the Ice Age, uh, ice came southward and blocked off the Clark Fork River, which made Lake Missoula, which would have extended from the northern part of Idaho all the way down into Montana, where Missoula is, and would have been as large as a Great Lake. And uh, eventually, this ice slope couldn't couldn't hold this water back, and so it broke free and this water rushed across uh, this whole eastern part of the state and uh, in the process stripped away all the topsoil, the vegetation and and uh, left a lot of formations that run uh, like little hills and stuff. Some of these you can see behind me that run from northeast to southwest and it exposed the basalt uh, which you can see some of it over here. Uh, the basalt is the, uh, the primary rock uh, in this area. Uh, and if this, so if, if that, that would have been covered up with topsoil had it not been for these floods. Maybe anywhere from a dozen uh, to they think maybe a hundred of these floods. So the lake would fill back up again, uh, the ice would form again and make a big dam for the lake. The lake would fill up Lake Missoula, the, the ice dam would crash and uh, it would take maybe a couple weeks uh, this water spilling across uh, the, the, this part of the state uh, all the way down into the, where the Tri-Cities are now uh, into, into uh, the Columbia River and eventually all the way out to the uh, Pacific Ocean, even flooded down near Portland in the Willamette Valley. Uh, when this water rushed across, it would have swept all the topsoil, the vegetation, all the furry little animals, you know, everything would have gone with it, and they, they think that you would have been able to hear the roar of the water a half hour before it hit you. So if there were any uh, humans living there then, uh, you know, they'd hear that roar, and then all of a sudden it'd be like a big, uh, you know, like going to the water park, water slide. Uh, uh, anyway, it swept everything across this state, the Channeled Scablands, Lake Missoula, Ice Age. The guy that thought this up, his name was Jay Harlan Brett. He's a hero. He, uh, no one believed him. They laughed at him. He was a geologist in the uh, early part of uh, the 1900s. He came up with this theory. And uh, 
They made fun of the guy, and it turns out he was probably right. Well, he was right. Channel Scavlins, Jay Harlan Bretts.